friends! Well, last week we were learning about stars, and do you know that sometimes stars are made in a shape called a constellation? Ooh. Let's learn about what a constellation is and some different names of some of the shapes and images that we see. Constellations. For a long time, people have drawn imaginary or pretend lines from star to star, creating pictures in groups of stars. These groups are called constellations. Constellations are like maps in the sky. There are 88 of them. Here's two of them. The yellow lines show where the Big Dipper is inside the constellation Ursa Major. So see, that's like an animal. And here's another one, constellation Cygnus. That one looks like a bird. It's a unicorn who's studying the constellations. And the unicorn is gonna take us. So this is one of them. You see how the lines connect the stars? It's called Cygnus, right? That's what we saw in our big book. And the Big Dipper, that's another one we saw in our book. And the Little Dipper. Lacerta. And Lyra. And Draco. Do you remember we just learned about that one, like the dragon? You can see the big stars, right, that connect it, and then the smaller ones. Cepheus, Triangulum, Cassiopeia, Hercules. It is a really good movie if you guys are interested and your parents are okay with it. Lynx. Canes Venatisi. Guys, sometimes I don't know if I'm pronouncing these the right way, and I really hope that I am. Aries. Taurus. Gemini. Cancer. Leo. Virgo. Libra. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Aquarius. Pisces. Oh, that's the end of our book. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. So these are just some of the different constellations that we can see in the sky. And